Okay, today I'm going to be making clam chowder on my quality range. To start, boil four cups of water in a saucepan or a stock pot with a lid. It is preferred to use a Dutch oven. So of course the store was out of clam, so I'm going to be using these mussels. This is literally all they had. So once your water starts boiling, uh, cook 24 clams in the boiling water for about 15 to 20 minutes with the lid on. Okay, it's been about 10 to 15 minutes. Let's check on the clams, or the mussels in this case. It does look like they've opened, so I believe they're done. Okay, now I'm going to turn off the fire and we're going to strain out the juice and set it aside. Okay, now we're going to rinse out this pot and then we'll return it to the stove. Okay, now we're going to put one tablespoon of butter in this stock pot that I just washed out. Okay, now I'm going to dice a fourth of a pound of bacon. I'm going to add it to that butter. Okay, now we're going to cook this bacon till the fat has all rendered and we'll stir it occasionally. And we also want to cook it until it's brown. This should take about five to seven minutes. Okay, now I'm going to remove the bacon from the grease with a slotted spoon and set the bacon aside. Okay, the next step is to add two leeks to the bacon grease. I do not have two leeks, so I'm going to be using two um, onions, sweet onions. Okay, now I'm going to add my substitute onions to the bacon grease. Now cook this um, for about 10 minutes. Oh, also, you do not want to brown your onions. You just want to cook them until they're soft. And you'll want to stir them occasionally. Okay, now I'm going to peel the skin off of three large Yukon potatoes. These are russet potatoes, so I'm going to use a little more than three potatoes. Um, but anyway, I'm going to peel the skin off of them and dice them. And then I will add this to the onions and bacon grease. Okay, now I'm going to add the potatoes. Now I'm going to add in half a cup of some dry white cooking wine. This should do the trick. Now I'm going to cook this mixture until the potatoes get soft. I will stir it occasionally. Okay, I've cooked the potatoes for about five minutes and they are just starting to get soft. Now I'm going to add enough uh, clam broth, in this case mussel broth, to cover um, the potatoes. Okay, now I'm going to add three sprigs of thyme and one bay leaf. Okay, now I'm going to partially cover the stock pot. And I'm going to simmer this um, for about 10 to 15 minutes until the potatoes soften the rest of the way. Okay, while the potatoes are cooking, um, separate your clam shells from your clam meat. Okay, now add your clams in with your potatoes. In this case, it's mussels. Now add your bacon. And then after you add your bacon, you're going to want to add two cups of heavy cream. After you add the heavy cream, um, add some pepper to taste. And then um, turn off the heat. It is important after you add the black pepper not to let the um, clam chowder come to a full rolling boil. Now we're going to fish out the bay leaf and the thyme sprigs. Okay, now the clam chowder should be allowed to sit for a while and allowed to cure. And then before serving, reheat it and um, you can serve it with oyster crackers and parsley. 
Okay, here's my clam chowder. I've added some oyster crackers to it. I'm gonna stir them in. Oh gosh, I'm gonna drop this spoon. Okay, now it's time to try it. That's really good if I do say so myself.